Fifth rounding, and that is called estimating. Okay. Okay, what does it mean to estimate something? For example, let's say I wanted to give everybody in here $3. Thank you. Okay, and I said, estimate how much money I will need. What does that mean I want you to do? Good. Maggie? Um, give like a close guess. Yep, it's a close guess using numbers that are easy to work with. Okay, and in order to do estimating, generally you round to do this. Okay, for example, there are how many fifth graders? 21. 21. I said I was trying to give everybody $3, okay? If I said to estimate that for me, rather than using 21, I would make it just 20, and hopefully you can do 20 times 3 in your head, which is estimated it would be $60, as opposed to just doing it out, which probably you can do in your head too, but you know that was just kind of an example there. Um, another example might be this. Uh, let's see, one from the book here. A theater can seat four. A theater has 424 seats. Uh, there are four performances. There are four performances. I get my order right there. How estimate? How many people can see the performance? How many can see the performance? Okay, so there again, rather than taking 424 times 4, you need the book says, the book says use compatible numbers or comparable numbers, I guess it is. Is it comparable or compatible? Compatible numbers. So another, rather than using 424, you would say, well, I'm going to make 424 into. 400. Okay, you want to be able to, so it's, you know, somebody might say, well, I want to make it 425. Well, you're not really saving yourself much time with that 425, because then you still got to do all that. And most of you, hopefully, you can do 400 times 4 in your head, because you end up with? Caitlin? 1,600. Very good. 1,600. Would be an estimate. Okay, that is an estimate. It's close, and it's good enough for what we want to use it for there. So I think you guys got this. I'm pretty sure you've done this.